Well, community colleges around our area are seeing a rise in enrollment numbers, and with more and more people with four-year degrees being laid off, the student population here in Spokane is getting a lot more diverse. Many, many people in the classes in the same boat that I am, and, and I can see them throughout the campus. 59-year-old Rick Newman is going back to school again. He was recently laid off from a job he'd had for 10 years and was told he needs new skills to be competitive in today's job market. I'm uh, studying computer forensics and networking. Um, I've worked with computers for a long time, but I don't have the skills to be current to be hireable. Rick is a husband and father of two and already has a bachelor's degree and two associate's degrees plus decades of work experience. He says finding new ways to market himself in this economy is no easy task. It's even hard to get jobs in uh, lesser paid industries at my age and with the training I have. They think I'm overqualified, so it's a double-edged sword. It's almost a catch-22. You have it, but you got too much of it sometimes. The Community Colleges of Spokane reports 10 to 15 percent of its student population already has bachelor's degrees. They've been laid off coming back to school to get new skills. It's the job, it's the profession. I think the baccalaureate is still a great gateway into the workplace, but I think what happens is people get into the jobs with that degree, that job changes and they've got to come back. And the community colleges are more flexible in terms of doing that. Sitting in a classroom with students more than half his age isn't something Rick planned on doing in his late 50s. But this admitted knowledge junkie is hopeful about what the future has in store once he finishes another associate's degree. I'll be 61 by the time I complete this, and then we'll have to see what the job market's like. If you're considering going back to school, wondering if it's the right direction for you, we've listed eight questions on our website to ask yourself to determine if this is the right course to take. And you can find those questions under news links on KXOY.com.